A minimum bid is $50 with up to four bids for $200. Pinball Joe has also provided pinball machines at the AGDQ venue for people to play. Throughout the marathon, you can watch AD, uh, AGDQ attendees speedrunning pinball for new world records at pinballdonequick.com. First try. First try. Seven, seven Let's get tries. Get a first try. Okay. First try, yeah. First, first try. try. First try. I'm, I'm, I'm dreaming, but you know. So yeah, seven one is infamous for killing many, many runs uh, that are going well. Sometimes you just get it in instantly, and sometimes you spend uh, ages. And <laughs> this run's actually run not not too bad. Yeah, little this mistakes here really and there got fantastic yeah, it's, RNG. It's really good. Uh, levels have been going well. And seven one often goes really bad in marathons. Don't so go in the level. <laughs> don't go in the level. <laughs> this one first try. I was in there, like. Six tries. Hey, yeah. okay. yes. Oh, oh, and the exit jump. <laughs> I like that. Hey. <laughs> Speedo. Yay. Where am I? Now Mitch has to carry P speed throughout this stage because there's going to be a section in the middle where he has to clear a long gap. Otherwise, there will be music notes that appear there and he'll have to go back down the pipe. Retry. Very nice. I don't Very know nice. if I hold on. Yeah, you pretty much only get one like reasonable shot at that when starting the stage, and if you miss it, you lose like a huge chunk of time. Probably, I would maybe like 15 or 20 seconds just seven, eight, hitting the note blocks and going seven, back eight, around. Seven eight. So Mitch is talking about seven eight, so I'm quickly going to explain <laughs> the okay. concept behind it. I don't even know. Like Basically, um, to kill Bowser, the usual method is to use fireballs and it requires uh, 35 fireballs. But if you use um, the hammer suit, you can actually kill Bowser pretty much instantly. And the reason we used to uh, not do it is because uh, the time required to grab a hammer suit in a mushroom mouse was bigger than what it saved in World 8. And for a long time we thought that uh, it couldn't be faster because even using it uh, at the start of World 8 didn't save enough time. But Mitch remembered that there was a hammer suit in the stage 7-8 and he found a method to grab it fast enough and then um, elaborate other strats afterwards to make it worth it to grab a hammer suit early. But the thing is it's really hard and really risky so yeah, and then you gonna have, try to yeah. do it. And then you have to do the fort after which is even more ridiculous. Yeah, so. just after 7-8 uh, he has to play a fortress with it and keeping That's... the hammer suit through the fortress is insane. <laughs> yes, very yeah, the mechanics of the hammers are much different than the, than the fireballs. They actually like uh, keep they they're, they're they're launched along with your moment, momentum. Whereas fireballs, like you can run faster than your fireballs when you fire them, but your hammers are always flying faster than you, allowing you to use the hammers as kind of like a shield in front of you if you throw them at the right time. All right, here it um, is. Here it is. Let's do so, this. So uh, you're seven eight. Let's get it done. Get it done. Those are okay, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're close. Yes! There it is. Yes! That is, that is so hard to do. So Mitch was able to enter that pipe, maintain P-Speed as he climbed up the stairs to grab the hammer suit and even keep having P-Speed as he exited the pipe. I know, even harder to do. <laughs> Good attempt, man. Yeah, we saw nice. some really cool stuff still. You tried it. Like, good job. Yeah. 
It's not too bad uh, to get it at that point, at least uh, because now he's gonna get the fire in the airship, in the airship, and he will switch to uh, the other route. Yeah, like I can go back to normal now. <laughs> All right, at this time, I'd like to say we have a few donations. $50 from Larrick Philip. In the last year, I've watched more AGDQ than I care to admit. This is my first time watching live, but hey, I can donate. My mind beat cancer and still has the big hat she wore when she lost her hair. She's still alive and still kicking. Put me in for the pinball machine because what the heck, dream big. We have $25 from Chris Hanno. This is one of the two guys responsible for the stream graphics layout this year. I lost my aunt to a long cancer battle right before Christmas, and this donation and my contributions to this event are dedicated to her. Hope everyone is having a great time. Wish I could be there with everyone. Keep running fast. Thank you for your awesome designs. We have $50 from Derek and uh, Emily. She says, my wife and I are spending a date night watching you guys destroy some old Nintendo classics. She was raised in a Sega household while I came from the good old Bowser-fearing Nintendo stock. It's a bonding experience. Save those Zabase creatures. And we have $200 from Nathan Davis. This is a great cause and keep up the great work. Watching these guys play is absolutely amazing. I'd also like to say that this event is brought to you by the Prevent Cancer Foundation. The Prevent Cancer Foundation is a nonprofit organization that focuses on the prevention and early detection of cancer via research, education, outreach, and advocacy. Their staff has worked towards this goal in countries such as China, South Korea, Australia, Canada, England, and other countries spanning a total of six continents. PCF has invested over $138 million over the last 29 years and has funded more than 480 grants and fellowships. All right, so we're coming up to, to World 8. We're, we're done with using, or for the most part, using items and skipping levels and uh, dealing with Hammer Brothers. Well, okay, skipping levels, maybe not quite. There's one major trick to Warpless in uh, World 8. There's these three optional stages known as the hands. <laughs> dun, dun. Um, so how many hands are we gonna get in this run here? That's the, they each they each cost I don't know between like maybe ten and twenty Be seconds. Or uh, so. more between twenty one and twenty three seconds. Each. Yeah. So that's a lot of time. <laughs> Let's get all three. Um, yeah. So and you have a one and you have a one and two chance uh, to pass each of the three hand stages. So ideally, uh, you pass all three, and that's one and eight. So. So yeah, what usually happens when, with this category is uh, you grind, you grind, you grind, you reach raw date and uh, you get one hand and you can't get the record anymore. <laughs> and uh, yeah, to get uh, no hand, it's one in eight, so it requires a lot of patience and luck. So you would need a record paced run and then that one in eight shot and then to finish out roll date on that same record pace. Yeah, and finishing roll date is really not trivial mm -hmm. after getting no hand and with the extra pressure of getting no hand, it's, really, it's a really hard one. So the way World 8 is laid out is there's these there's two auto scrollers at the beginning and then we have the three hand stages and we'll see, we'll just see what happens. And then following that, uh, there would be one more auto scroller, the fast airship. And, uh, and then we get to the real stages in World 8. Um, it's got three platforming stages, uh, one more auto-scroller, and then the final level. And all of the platforming stages in this are, are very challenging to do optimally. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've seen many runs getting no hand and then dying to 8-1 or 8-2. Mm -hmm. It happens a lot. They're some of the most challenging stages in the game, so it's, it's a pretty cruel cool category uh, to have to both deal with such huge huge luck and huge amounts of time wasted and at the same time deal with just such rough execution. Yeah! Nice. So we skipped the boomerang there. Um, how, how much time does that save and how often does that actually happen? It's not like so around often. two seconds, I think. Okay. And uh, I don't know, it's actually not that, uh, it doesn't happen that often. Yeah, no, you need the armor, to, uh, uh, the armor ball to go to the left and uh, you need to not shoot too early, I think. I'm not sure what, how it that works exactly, but yeah, it's luck based. And then I guess 
shooting a fireball as quickly as possible, like as soon as you gain input. So I guess a lot of those things factor in. So yeah, World 8 is infamously uh, full of auto scorers, so mm -hmm. there's four of them. Oh, I should have went for a swim. Uh, we have a $50 donation from Zachary Rowe saying, Really enjoying the 2D Mario block. It's like my childhood flashing before my eyes, but with less dying than boss base. Keep up the good work, everybody. Oh, and save the animals. We have a $75 donation from RB saying, Hi there, I'm donating again, and I appreciate the good work you guys are doing. All runners have been amazing. Maybe they could pull their resources and speedrun the cure for cancer. I would like my donation to go to saving the animals and the child dungeon to blindfolded. The rest goes for runner's choice. We have $10.15 uh, donation from Hotel Don saying, I wish I could throw hammers. As a, all, all speedrunners have to do that little <laughs> crouch uh, swag like a, right there. It's, like it's pretty tick. much required. And it's time for the ends, so we're going to see if he's good yes, or not. Yes, I'm going to do the bump. Place your bets. Yes. Bump. Place your I bets, everyone. Do. Place your bets. No hands, no hands. No whammies. I'm not saving oh, frames. that pipe entry. Oh. Ah. <laughs> that's, that's what? And unfortunately, this is the longest hand stage of the story. Yeah, that's it. Same three for you. Wee. Oh, two hands. So yeah, there's five squares, but only three hands, actually. And yeah, you got two out of three. The middle hand stage is actually the uh, shortest stage of the three as well. So uh, with the hands you got, uh, that's like 44 seconds lost, approximately. So yeah, you understand why in, uh, in an attempt uh, for a record, it's like you can't do anything with that. Like well, while it's it is pretty frustrating to have to deal with like you, you could you could play with top notch execution and then just get you know All forty three, or yeah. forty four seconds worth of time lost just for nothing and compared to another run that gets uh, no hands that has worse execution it just has a better time so that's just that's just the nature of warpless but it does it, it does keep things I guess interesting if you want to call it that yeah it's a category that really tries your patience and also it's a bit frustrating because. Um, you almost never get no hand in your best run, so mm -hmm. it's always annoying to see a, a slower run getting a better luck and a better final time. But yeah, that's what this category is about, so... This is probably one of the toughest platforming stages in the game. Coming up 8-1, really difficult to keep speed, just really difficult to survive in general. 